before we get stuck into this review of the KVM switch, please consider subscribing. It doesn't cost you any money and it does help my channel to keep going. And also, if you like this content, consider giving it a thumbs up as well. But again, it does help the channel to keep on growing. So with that, So we are doing a review on a KVM switch, and if you don't know what a KVM switch is, basically it allows you to use one keyboard, one mouse, on two separate computers. And all you have to do is switch them over, and it works. Or well, hopefully, it will work pretty well. So with that, let's get on with the unboxing and see how easy it is to use. Right, at the time of making this video, it costs around about £36, and there was a discount on there at the time as well, so you could get it cheaper. I think it was 10% discount. QC passed it says on there. Where's my knife? Where's my knife? So for once, no showing you around the box because it's just a plain brown box. So that is it. So you get your basic instructions, you get some cables for connectivity, and... And you get something else. I'm not even sure what that is. So let's have a quick look around it then. So you've got USB. So you've got one and two. You've got a switch as well. So that will allow you to switch from one to the other on your KMs and your HDMI connection. And it will show what computer you're using, PC2 or PC1. To me, I'm going to try and keep it cool. Two HDMI connections. So you can run, you know, different monitors. One and two, USB one, USB two, and it says switch. Ah, so that is a manual switch. Oh, that's good. So instead of using that, you can just plug that in and use that. Because that does exactly the same thing. It's a bit dusty, isn't it? Yeah, so this is a 4K HDMI USB KVM switch times two. So what we're going to do is we're going to set all up and see how well she works. Right, before we get started, don't panic about all this mess. I will explain that as well. Before we get into it, though, a couple of things I need to go through. One is, I did say earlier, dual monitors. Not dual monitor. It's two PCs being controlled or being shown on one monitor. Not at the same time, at separate times. So I want to make sure you understood that. And I will explain how this all works. The other thing I want to tell you is it looks a bit messy and that is because I'm using a different keyboard, different mouse because my main keyboard and main mouse are all wired up to that computer over there and it's all been cable managed and I didn't want to undo all that cable management just to show you that keyboard and mouse. So I've got this keyboard, this keyboard, I've got this mouse, this keyboard plugged in to this little box and it should work all right so with that right can you see that all right so this is the keyboard i'm using and this is the mouse i am going to talk you through this right now because i don't want you getting frightened think oh there's a lot of cables there no need to panic this is the little switch that i showed you earlier this little baby here and i will be testing that in a second so that is a little switch this is for your first keyboard and mouse and all your first computer so this is going over to the left over to that big computer over there this one is a usb to the second computer which is over there so that is m2 sorted so that all them three things sorted hdmi cable so this is coming from the computer that's over there yeah that hdmi cable going into this and this hdmi cable is from the computer that's over that side yeah so that makes perfect sense. Let me go through it one more time, just so you have a perfect understanding of what I'm trying to say. So this is the little switch. You don't have to use this switch. You have a switch on the front. But just for this experiment, or just to show you how it works, this is the switch that will change from one computer to another computer, basically. This USB is for the computer on the left, and that is for your keyboard and mouse. So you need to unplug your other keyboard and mouse, and just plug this in. This is for the computer that's over there. Again, you need to unplug the keyboard and mouse that's normally plugged in and just use this cable into your USB. 
the HDMI is the same. This is from your computer that's on the left, or my computer's on the left. Yeah, so you don't need any other HDMI cables. And this is a HDMI cable from the computer that's over there. Yeah, so computer, HDMI cable, computer, or computer, HDMI cable, USB, USB. And look, switch, this little baby. Does that make perfect sense? So that is everything plugged in, so everything goes into there. Now on this side, you have this little switch like I said earlier, and that is exactly the same switch as that one there. It just is on a long cable if you need to. We have spare USB connections, so if you want to plug in other devices, you can. And we have keyboard and mouse. So this is your keyboard that you're going to be using. It goes in the front, and this is the mouse that you're going to be using. Again, goes in the front and HDMI cable for the one monitor that you are going to be using. So with that, let's get on with it. So I've already started up my computers and they're actually running now. And with my mouse. Well, let's do my keyboard first. I will show you that in a second. So I have a screen up already. Yeah, so keyboard to just work. And let me just show you which computer I'm on, I've lost my mouse, oh there it is, and I'm on my main computer, this is my main computer, see, so that works perfectly, okay, and I'm going to shrink that down a bit, so you can see that we're going to be using a different computer, right, so I'm going to do it on the switch, so just press that once, now it's switching over to the other computer, this little baby here, again I've already got it set up, and again, keyboard is working fine, as you can see, that works fine. And the mouse, as you can see, works fine. Let me just show you that it's actually a different computer. So yeah, see the difference? So that's how easy this thing works. Again, I'm just going to press the button. So if you have two computers, but only one monitor, this might be the ideal solution for you. Yeah, it just works. And that's all you want it to do. You just want it to work easy to do well I'm going to try it on the actual uh, unit itself it should do like I said should do exactly the same the little light shows you which computer it's on PC2 is the one on the left PC1 is the one on the right yeah and it yeah it just works perfect All right it doesn't seem to be any lag whatsoever but I didn't want to mess about unplugging the cable in for this keyboard and this mouse because I've done cable management for them cut or for them keyboards and mouse to keep them nice and tidy and it would have been a nightmare. But as you can see, it works very easily. Yes, and this computer is actually that little tiny thing that I showed you earlier. This computer is actually for my grandchild for him to learn on. When he comes round and sees us, so he has a little play with this, and I've made the uh, cursor nice and big, and I'll put it as black because it's easier for him to see, as you can see. Yeah, so that works really well. Yeah, no issues, plug and play, <laughs> like it should be. Yeah. So my keep my uh, cursor is a little bit harder to see, especially on things like that. It's quite small. I normally use a dual monitor, but like I said, for this little experiment, I wanted to show you how it all worked and how easy it is to use. Job done. So I'm going to quickly go through it one more time so you've got a perfect understanding of how it works. So this HDMI lead comes from one computer. It does not come from a monitor. It comes from a computer. So one computer, HDMI lead, the same again, this HDMI lead comes from the other computer, does not come from the monitor, it comes from the computer. This USB plugs into your computer, that one over there, and this USB plugs into the other computer, that one over there. And they are for your keyboard and mouse. Yeah, And then you have this switch. Like I said, you don't have to use this switch, because you can just press the button. Whatever is easiest for you. Now your output it's these little babies here. These two USBs. It must be in these two USBs. These are for your switching. So, output, keyboard and mouse. 
Doesn't matter which way around you put them, as long as you put them in them two connections, keyboard and mouse. And same again, your HDMI out goes into your one monitor. That is it. Job done. Nice green light, by the way. So with that, I hope this video helps you decide whether or not a KVM switch is for you. Thank you very much for watching.